That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Save deleted. Welcome to Elite Dangerous. Played a little bit, just uh, get myself familiar with the game and controls and learn how to remap stuff. Figured out what I wanted to do, and we are now beginning a brand new series here in Elite Dangerous Horizons. I think the plan might be we're going to do full flight control off with a gamepad, so that should be interesting. And I think we'll probably upgrade to some joystick controls later. Cup of coffee in hand, it's so delicious. Mm. Oh yeah. And here we go. We've got us a sidewinder. Alright, and now we shall get ourselves our wings. Welcome to Morton Dock. Uh, make yourself comfortable while we finish some preliminary ship checks. All right. My name's Theo Acosta, and I'll be running your Pilots' Federation evaluation. Most pilots assigned to me earn their license, so as long as you follow my instructions, you'll be a commander in no time. Oh, and uh, before you ask, I may sound like an Imperial, but uh, I'm actually from an independent system. Today we'll be covering scum. the basics of flight control, combat, and frame shift this sidewinder has been installed support? with a specialized computer that'll take control at certain points. Mostly you'll follow a series of objectives to guide your actions. These are shown in the info panel at the top right of the head-up display. Okay, you're good to go. Select auto-launch from the options ahead of you when you're ready. And there we go. Taking flight. Is it not a just ship trajectory is primarily controlled by pitch, yaw, and roll. Perform each of these now. Alrighty, here we do the things. We got some, uh, some pitch, some yaw, some roll action. I guess we didn't do enough pitching. Good. Now increase your throttle to accelerate forwards. Flight controls. Decrease the throttle to resume a stationary position. Your throttle can also be pulled back from zero to engage reverse thrust. Yeah, I don't think I've got the X key down for set throttle to zero. So they want me to go all the way. As before, push the throttle in the opposite direction to cease moving. Is it possible the yet an orbital structure and is designed for to the go ahead and turn flight assists off? No, we cannot. We'll end up being there. Well, hello, zombie. Yeah, I definitely don't have the uh, 
control moves set up the way I want to. I, I definitely, definitely want to get joysticks involved, but right now I've kind of got a gamepad and some preliminary bindings kind of set, and a few of my multiple button bindings done, so I'm, I'm fairly familiar with flight sims in general and space sims in general, and uh, just got familiar with this game, Elite Dangerous, fairly recently. But yeah, we're starting a brand new series, brand new uh, commander, and here we go. Oh, did it want me to go through weapons controls? No, it didn't. It said to mention something about weapons controls. That comes later. Rolling and pitching together is the most efficient way of turning rapidly. Oh yeah, definitely uh, definitely considering the Odyssey update, although I'm not entirely sure based on all the news and feedback and things like that that I've been seeing that I've purchased it immediately. I might wait until a few updates come through and things get polished up, but we might. We'll see how things go. I definitely want to get joysticks and all that set up first, potentially even get a full VR set it, VR setup approach. going. See the blue marker beside the throttle gauge. This indicates the optimum turning speed. Alright, basic flights though, here we go. All the fun stuff. Slow down a bit to make the turn as it were. Alright. So Zombie, what's your favorite thing to do here in Elite Dangerous? You're approaching a particularly sharp turn, so I advise slowing down to prevent any mishaps. speeds finally that's the last checkpoint the sidewinder is an agile craft and you handled it well a new icon has appeared on the sensor display in the center of your dashboard this represents a nearby beacon which you'll soon scan as part of your evaluation target the beacon before we continue okay there we go targeting your control now So you can see here some of my custom bindings already coming in. Good. Most external modules are installed on hard points, including weapons. Control is back with you. The beacon is relatively small, so you'll need to position yourself close to it. Now I do have I think some other bindings here for switching. I can't remember how it's switching modes and things. Faction versus faction combat and good stuff. Definitely enjoy the combat, but I'm that kind of per oh, paying attention to chat and not to this. You can scan the beacon now. Yeah, definitely getting in a group is is the way to go with games like these. I really want to get into combat and really doing uh, zero flight control combat when I get dual joysticks coming in, but I think I'm going to wait a little bit on spending the 300-ish bucks on, on what I want to get. Well done. The data link scanner is a versatile tool that connects with network interfaces and various data points. Okay. You need to move to another area of this star system to continue your assessment, pilot. Rather than travel for the next year using your thrusters, you can employ the ship's frameshift drive to increase your speed by a few orders of magnitude. First, ensure that the ship is correctly secured. Your landing gear, cargo scoop, and hard points must all be retracted. When you're ready, throttle up and engage supercruise. Bam, and off we go. 
Do you have a particular favorite ship that you like to use for combat? For, what is it? The uh, Fertilance is the typical preferred. To combat. Speaking of combat, here we go. I've gotten a little bit used to the freelance. It's been a, it's been decent, but I don't know. I think I prefer something a little bit smaller, a little bit quicker. But I'm definitely a, uh, a dogfighter kind of guy rather than tank and hit. Bastion Thargoids, yeah, I've, I've not encountered any alien life yet, so I've definitely, definitely got a lot left to experience here in this game. I think I've had my, uh, my Steam has been telling me exactly how much shame I should be feeling Watch because I've got the game the less than a week ago, and according to Steam I've already played for like 86 hours or something like that, but... That mostly just includes having the launcher open, which counts towards steam time. Several static and mobile targets will be provided around the decommissioned megaship. We'll also cover some situational information about weaponry and target tracking. And yes, you'll get to shoot those weapons you saw earlier. You hear that? They're gonna let me shoot stuff. Hot diggity dog. You can see over in the uh, top left there, that bright light is another ship cruising around. Astronomical bodies have a gravitational effect on the FSD, reducing your ship's speed. The closer the body, the greater the effect. Oh man, here we are. Let's fire some guns. have the thing. Oh, I guess there we go. Looked like I was targeting something else. Scanned it is. Well done. It's often worth scanning objects you're unfamiliar with to learn more about them. Next, you need to activate your weapons by cycling to a different fire group. You'll notice that your weapons are now listed on your HUD. Fire groups allow you to manage your hard points efficiently. Let's begin the combat evaluation. Destroy several of the canisters. Firing guns! Let's get a little closer so our All weapons are fast and more range, So you may need to move closer here. Thrusters are particularly useful for navigating around large structures. Why not give them a try? Your cannon will automatically reload until the ammunition supply runs out. Meanwhile, your laser will fire until the capacitor is depleted, at which point it will need to recharge. Fire away, fire away. Let's dial up the challenge a notch, shall we? Non-compliant, aggressive These opponent. These are used by the Pilots' Federation as target practice, and they're quite harmless. To continue, bring the craft into your sights, and open fire. So sorry, buddy. Oh, the good stuff. Smash! <laughs>
good, Jim. Smash. Oh god, doesn't like me going that way. Where is my target? Wait, let me go. can't see my uh, throttle when I'm all the way up like that, pulling up like that. Really? You're telling me to get away from the fucking station? To resolve this, throttle up to move a safe distance away from the mega ship. Jesus Christ. That's absurd. Remember, you can boost to temporarily increase your ship's speed. Didn't wait long the enough by half a second. Out. Out of the when you're ready to travel light years in seconds, engage the Friendship FSD. The absurdity of it all, I tell ya. Still, we have the option. No, no change in flight assists. Oh, what the hell? The super cruise assist that it wants us to use. Yeah. Oh, no, deactivate. Yeah. With the destination selected, throttle up and aim towards your target. The compass to the left of the sensor display will help you orient yourself. Good. 
trouble with, with the fact that I'm still All right, coming into our station here. Oop. Hello, Shimmy. Huh. It seems you forcibly disengaged the FSD. An urge to test the functions of your ship is understandable, but you have to reach Quello Station to complete the assessment. Are you kidding me? I didn't do that. Touch any buttons there. Or anything. This is the final stretch. You'll talk here shortly, but I'm strange to things, man. Coming into Co what is it? Coelho Station? Coelho? Probably Coelho. Good. Ease off the throttle and hold position here. Don't enter the starport just yet, pilot. Approaching Come on, without now. obtaining permission first can be dangerous. Definitely doesn't oh, like me uh, having any level of competency already, does it? Did it again. You've got it. Docking then select a quello station in the list, followed by request docking in the information panel. You've been assigned landing pad three. The compass will point towards your designated pad. Ships need to be within 7.5 kilometers of a starport for a docking request to be considered. Must be deployed. 
The related dashboard indicator lights up if this has been done. Landing gear deployed. Nice and a moment, the sensor slow. display will switch to the precision approach display, which helps you accurately set belly down on the landing pad. Here we go. We have our wings. Okay. There we go. We're going to go ahead and continue as Commander Toka hacks. Thanks for joining us on the introduction here to uh, Brand New Elite Dangerous. We'll see you next time.